Hello everyone, my name is Jill and welcome to my channel. You might be wondering, Jill, what is going on back here with this tank? It's terrible. I know everyone and that is why I am recording this video today. This is the infamous tank that I have told you guys all about. You guys have seen maybe a couple videos about before in the past. I just have never really taken to it. I haven't really liked it mostly because there is white sand in it and just the white sand and it just aesthetically I just don't like the way it looks. So yeah, it just turned into this. It's a mix of algae, of tannins. I haven't done a water change in about three weeks, not because I'm lazy, but because I just went on vacation and I'm a little bit lazy. Now here comes the sad part. I think it's time for me to retire my indoor pond, not because I don't like it, I love it. I just think it's taking too much space in my living room and I have a big tank here that has a lot of room in it that is just not being used. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this tank a really good clean. We're gonna move all of our Corydoras and other fish from the pond into this aquarium and then we're gonna turn this aquarium into a really, really nice black water setup, hopefully. All right, you guys, let's get her done. So I am currently planting this side of the tank. I cut it in half instead, but you can see it's so murky so I'm not recording right now. But I found something cool that I thought I'd show you guys. This right here is seemingly a dying leaf from one of the plants I have in my tank. But if you look closely, you can see this is new plant growth right here. These two leaves. And there's little roots. So this dead leaf, seemingly, is growing polyps off of it. I'm not quite sure what this plant is, but if anyone knows, just let me know in the comments. I think it's pretty cool that the leaves from this plant grow more plants. And once these get big enough, I think you can just peel them off and then plant them. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have filled the tank back up and I've planted some of my Elodia. There is two small sponge filters in this side of the tank now, and I also turned the filter on on this side just to clear up a lot of the water since it is very, very murky. It has literally been three or four hours since I've started doing this. I always forget how long it takes to do maintenance on this tank. I also added in some more gravel, some more black gravel. I want this side to be more black sand and gravel and I want this side to be more white sand and gravel. It's honestly looking really good in my opinion considering that it's still really murky but I'll catch up with you guys really soon when we're putting our fish in. One hour later and the tank has cleared up nicely. It's still a little bit cloudy. Instead of it being um, very black watery, it's kind of just like a jungle in there, but I will still add in my Indian almond leaves and we'll just see how it turns out. I think I'm gonna put my Cardinal Tetras from this side of the aquarium into their new side of the aquarium. So that's what we're doing right now. And here we have a drip acclimator that I made very easily. <laughs> my fish are only panicking a little bit. And there's my shrimp being a good boy as ever. So I've had a lot of time today to acclimate these fish. They've been in there for probably two hours now. I'm gonna add in a few Indian almond leaves. I was tossing up whether to actually do this because I really like the way the tank turned out, but I think Indian almond leaves will add in good properties for my fish anyways. So 
what harm could it do other than turn my water brown? I think when you add Indian almond leaves to your tank, you usually cut it up into pieces. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm gonna throw it in. I think these usually take a while to sink because they are organic matter. So I'll give it about 20 hours or so and I will get back to you guys. It's time to put these guys in. about 24 hours since I recorded the last part of this video and as you can see this tank is just stunning I am in love with the way that it looks but I think I highly underestimated how many almond leaves it would take to actually make this black water tank I really thought that only two almond leaves would make a 60 gallon tank into a black water aquarium no alder cones no, you know, just sticks, nothing. This might be a two-part thing, guys. The tank has fully cleared up though, and it looks amazing in my opinion. I am so beyond happy with how it turned out. I'm so happy with how good the Cardinal Tetras look. I've had my Cardinal Tetras for maybe like six or seven months now, and I haven't seen them really in such a good light, you know, because this tank has never really been planted. I think that they look really good against plants, green. Okay. Before I wrap it up, I wanna say two things. First off, thank you so, so much to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you, Kelvin, Stormy, and Danny. Without you, I wouldn't be able to make videos like this, and I really, really appreciate your support. If anyone else wants to become a patron, I will leave a link in my description. And now for the second thing. I just hit 2,000 subscribers, you guys, which is absolutely crazy. Seriously, I, I mentioned it last video, how many subscribers I've been getting, but since then I've gotten 200 or so more. I, I, I honestly don't even know because it's so crazy. All right, that's it. If you like this video, please do drop a like because it really, really helps my channel. If you like me and you like this sort of video, do subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, that is it. So maybe hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.